Hi ASC students, my name is Devin. I'm our immigration specialist here at ASC, and it's my job to help you get your student visa. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about probably our two most popular questions that I hear on our social media or when students call me. Those two questions are, how much does ASC cost and how do I get a student visa? So if you're watching this video, and you are a green card holder, a tourist visa, or you're a student studying at another school and you want to transfer to ASC English, this video is not for you. This video is for students who are in their home country. They want to go to the embassy, get a student visa, the F1 visa, and then come to ASC to study. So let's talk about the steps and the costs involved with that. To apply to ASC is very simple and it's pretty much the same at every English school. Step one, you would fill out an application with us. Our application is really basic and easy. We ask for your name, your date of birth, email, phone number, when do you want to start classes, and you sign it, you send it back to me by email. Also, I would ask for a copy of your passport, just the, just the first page that shows your photo and your name and your date of birth. The third document that I would need would be your bank statement. The bank statement is probably the most important document for your visa interview and for us in order to create your immigration documents. Every student asks me, how much do I need on the bank statement? Can the bank statement be from a sponsor? So let's talk about the first one. How much do you need on your bank statement? I always recommend at least 10,000 US dollars or the equivalent in your country. Why? Because you want to show the embassy that you have enough money to study at ASC English. Our prices, by the way, are more or less about a thousand dollars a month. Also, you want to show the government that you have enough money to eat and live somewhere in Boston. So that magic number that I recommend is at least $10,000 or more. I, by the way, I have seen bank statements that are a lot more that don't get approved, and I have seen bank statements with less that do get approved. So it's impossible for me to say to you, Okay, with a bank statement of $15,000, you'll definitely get your student visa. I can't say that, because that's not true. Uh, so we have application, bank statement, passport. One more note about the bank statement. The bank statement can be from a sponsor. It's not normal that an 18-year-old student is going to have $10,000 in their bank. It can be from your father, your mother, your grandfather, cousin. Basically, they would do an affidavit of support saying that they support you in the United States. Apart from that, those three documents, we would take an application fee and a deposit. Our application fee is $150 and our deposit is $250. So you would pay ASC $400. This is essentially how the math would look. So you're gonna pay $150 to ASC and also $250 deposit, which we later use that $250 for your classes if your visa gets approved and you come to the United States. Then I will create a document called the I-20 and an acceptance letter. You'll, you'll take those documents, I will either mail them to you or email them to you, and you will go to this website after to apply for the DS-160. The DS-160 is, is a fancy name for how to get the visa interview. They ask basic information like, have you ever applied for a visa before? What's your full name? Are you married? Uh, what's your address? And you'll have to upload probably a two by two photo onto this website as well. So have a photo, a digital copy of a photo ready. The price to make an interview varies depending the country where you're from. 
I have heard some countries are $150 and others are $300. So let's call just for this example, $200 visa appointment or DS-160 fee. Then before your visa interview, you'll pay a $350 CVIS fee. The CVIS fee is linked to your I-20 and that CVIS fee receipt you will want to print out and bring it to the embassy with you when you go for your visa interview. So let's stop just for one second and review the different fees. So we said $150 application fee for ASC, $250 deposit, $200 more or less DS-160 fee, that's for the government, not for us, and a $350 CVIS fee. Again, that's for the government, not for us. Unfortunately, these fees are non-refundable. So if the government says no to your visa, you will lose that money. And that's the same no matter what school you go to. If you go to Harvard, they're gonna have a similar process and a similar refund policy with their application fees. Then you'll go to your visa interview. In the visa interview, you'll want to bring your passport, obviously, your I-20. You'll want to bring your bank statement and your affidavit of support. You'll want to bring your photos with you. You'll have the visa interview. If it's approved, then you book some flights and you come to ASC in the United States. And that point, you will pay for the rest of your course. And this is what the price would look like. For any questions on this process, feel free to email me, devin at ascenglish.com. Hablo Espanol as well. And we also have speakers here that we have people from China, from Brazil, that can also assist you in your native language as well, as well as Russian. So if you have questions in any language, feel free to contact me and I can refer you to the best person. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.